I assume that you would think that people would have more of a positive sum mentality on a Bitcoin standard rather than how am I going to get money from this person, the zero sum fiat mentality, because, well, that's less possible on a Bitcoin standard, right? I don't it's, think so. I think that, so here's the way that money works. Uh, it's hard to amass mm -hmm. and amassing it, like a lot of it, it, it really is zero sum. And so even if you, m people need to remember that money printing simply uh, lessens everyone's purchasing power. Mm -hmm. So the, if you think of it as purchasing power is a zero sum game. But no, but productivity increases aggregate purchasing power. So that would be positive sum, right? Yes, but now productivity is a totally different ball game. So productivity may be the one thing that people aren't weird about, mm -hmm. but money is simply the result of productivity. Mm -hmm. And so now if I'm like, hey, my productivity only yields $50,000 a year. Mm -hmm. Your productivity somehow yields $50 million a year. I feel some kind of way. Mm -hmm. And so now this does not feel good. And this mm -hmm. is the Gini coefficient all over. Mm -hmm. People don't care about how much money they make. They care about how much they make in relation mm -hmm. to their neighbor. Mm -hmm. And so that just is true. Give a capuchin monkey a cucumber for you know, clicking the number three and he's happy. Mm -hmm. Give his neighbor a grape for <laughs> clicking the number three. And even though he's still getting his cucumber, which nine seconds ago he was happy about, <laughs> he's now going to freak the fuck out. <laughs> and that's the human experience. And so maybe it shouldn't, but no. it does trigger this sense of like, I want my productivity to yield me the same ability to buy the things that I want that you have, and it doesn't, mm. and I don't know why, and now it just feels unfair, and so I do look at you sideways as you're the filthy capitalist that's stealing all mm. my money, which isn't what's happening. Right. It's that you're, but now let's get real dark for a second. I don't know how, I'm talking about this because it's <laughs> real. I don't like that it's real, but it is real that if you are, intelligence isn't enough so it's intelligence plus x factor but if if you don't have a certain level of intellect which is probably much lower than people think but you do have to meet minimum requirements if you don't meet minimum intellectual requirements you will fail in life and so that just really is real mm -hmm. and so you're always going to run up against people for whom they just don't have the intellect to pull it off but they're perfectly uh capable of creating a lot of destruction. Mm. And so you get into a pretty gnarly space where Bitcoin or otherwise, you're just going to have people that want to see the system burn. Mm. Fascinating. Um, yeah. So, I mean, one last comment, I'll just let it go. But I, I, my view, which is slightly different than yours, I think is that in a Bitcoin standard, you actually root for other people to succeed because every time you have a successful business enterprise, the value of my savings goes up. Whereas in fiat world, we sort of have that, but we also sort of don't because we're all getting kind of basically the more theft you have occurring, the more we're getting pulled towards the zero sum mentality, the less theft we have occurring, the more we're being pulled towards the positive sum mentality yep. as a general view. Um, so let's just be real clear. Mm -hmm. There is a brief moment in time where that's on balance true. Mm -hmm. But now I want you to imagine where all the Bitcoin that have that are ever going to be printed are printed mm -hmm. and they're out. And now I'm slapped in the face with uh, no more will ever be printed. And so now I have to find a way to mm -hmm. get some from someone that already mm -hmm. holds it. Mm -hmm. And if I'm a wage slave and I have a fixed amount and I can run the math and I know how many I'm going to have by the time I die, if I effectively don't spend any of them. And I look at that number and I'm like, huh, that's less than this guy has, uh, you know, for an afternoon's work. Mm -hmm. I once made, what was the math? I once made, I think it was 5,000, $5,000 a minute. Now, you can imagine that some people are going to feel some kind of way about that. Mm -hmm. And in a world where it's like, I'm, I don't even have the illusion of printed money to trick me into mm -hmm. not realizing that this actually is a zero sum. Like, it's actually possible that one person ends up with all the Bitcoin. Be real hard, mm. but it is possible. Mm. And so 
you really start getting the weirdness of the human mind. But I will agree with you mm -hmm. right now that that really is a thing and we should all enjoy it and embrace it and try to bake that into the culture mm -hmm. as much as possible. Uh, but also as somebody who went through the full uh, pre-realization that Web3 is a technology because people still have not woken up to that, mm -hmm. Uh, I watched it go from web three is embracing of everybody and we love you all. And mm -hmm. now it is like a fuck you fest. <laughs> so it's just, that's the human mind. Like once it doesn't feel like sort of easy money, mm -hmm. then people start getting real bitter real fast. Yeah. I agree with the relativity thing, right? People are always going to care about how much they're making relative to other people. It's always the, where it's the pecking order, right? Like where do you sit in the hierarchy basically? Um, but my hope is, and I guess this is just a hope because it's unproven, is that that hierarchy will just be based more on cooperation and productivity rather than let me undermine, you know, deceive, steal, all of these weird fiat things we have today because those things will just be less possible. On a fiat, fiat makes everything worse. Yeah. However, yeah. you still have the human animal. Yeah. And Bitcoin isn't going to change the human animal. So all the things that are true about the human animal will keep being true. That's the big question there, actually. Yeah, I agree with you. It doesn't change the human animal, but how much do incentives shape how we act? Maybe it doesn't, a lot. Maybe it doesn't change our human nature, but yep. maybe we're pouring human nature into a new container. So what do you see on the other side of this? What do you, is it holding hands and singing Kumbaya? I'm, I'm going to have to answer that question next time you interview me, because that's a long question. Dude, but, oh, no, no, man, I don't I'm see that at eager. all. I'm but I see a, a step up in human civilization. Right, we've come a long way from feral god kings to where we are today. I see another step up in that direction. I don't I, know exactly I what it looks like. I will give you that. It's just a question of how big is that step. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Bitcoin is a miracle. Mm -hmm.